This video is brought to you by Squarespace. I'm building a website for this channel and Squarespace makes it fun and easy to do. In all my years coming out to the tent, I've never been inside of it and this cold. It's minus, about minus 38 inside the tent right now. I just showed up and uh, yeah, that's a crazy, that's a crazy cold temperature right there. Looks like there's a wolf that's walked through here recently. In the last day or two, this is how close they are. Right out front of the tent. So that's pretty cool. I can't really tell because there's been some snow that's fallen since it's come by, but it's a lynx or a wolf for sure. Those are big tracks. It's <laughs> freezing. Okay, I'm gonna start this fire real quick. I've got some beautiful splits here that I made up the last time I was here with my uh, my splitter, my new splitter. I'm gonna use this uh, non-toxic fire starter and I'm gonna get this thing going right now. No messing around, guys. It is extremely cold. I can feel it hit my nose. I'm warm myself, like my body's warm and my hands are warm. I'm just wearing these little things. But there's a risk with having exposed skin when it's this cold of it getting frostbite. So today, it's gonna be a bit of an emotional day for me because I brought a chopping block from my house that I've been using at my house for a few years and that thing is nice and strong. This chopping block here, look at that wood. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful. I've had this since my first tent, my first season out here. This thing is about five years old. And the last time I was here, it just started splitting apart when I was, when I was splitting my wood. So tonight, this is what's gonna keep me warm. So this is my new one and uh, it served me well. Like I could probably... Nope, not quite. Saying goodbye to it. Oh yeah. Just takes the weight of the axe to cut through this. 
And that is so perfectly seasoned. Look, I'll just let the axe go. Yes. I gotta make them small enough to fit in anyways. That one piece of wood is gonna warm me all night. Oh, pumping through, that's good. Man, first shot. I've had a good run on first shots lately. Okay, let's get some coffee, it's freezing. Ah, oh, that's good. Cold minus 35 air in my lungs and warm minus 20 air <laughs> at my back. <laughs> oh. There's something about consuming liquids, hot liquids, and a hot meal when you're exposed to cold. I don't know what it is, but it just makes it better uh, it just does things just taste better your body just wants it in a different way hard to describe but that's the reality that is perfect cooking outside tonight and I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna make salmon I've got a new cast iron camping pot that I want to break in out here and fish smells I mean obviously it's a strong smelling food so I'd like to keep the cooking of the fish out of the tent I want to give a big thank you to the sponsor of this video and that is Squarespace. I've known for a while that I've needed a website. So when they reached out to me, it was a no brainer for me to partner with them because I wanted to do it and I didn't want to have to think about it. I wanted it to be really, really easy to do. You go to squarespace.com and it's going to say right there in front of you right away, get started. And so, yeah, that's what I did. I click get started. Next thing you know, I'm looking at all of these templates 
that are there in front of me and I'm scrolling through and I pick the one that I think best suits my channel and my life. One of my favorite things is uploading photos that I've taken out here at this camp. I love that. I want to be able to have a camping logbook. I want to be able to sell merchandise and I want to be able to share news, channel news there. Squarespace makes it really easy. Head to squarespace.com slash to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using code jlegere. Oh, this pan is so nice. It's a GSI pan, and I got it at a local sporting store. And it's uh, cast iron. And I'm really excited about it. You want it to be really crispy. A, so you can eat it. Oh, look at that. Now with fish, you don't want to overdo it. You'll ruin it. Oh man, that is gonna be so good. I mean, this is crazy good looking right now, this meal. And healthy. For me, this is like way healthier than what I normally have out at camp. Yes. I'm gonna put just a little bit of butter on that. So juicy. You got to eat the skin. You have to eat the skin. Once you do it, if the skin is cooked really crispy, like I have it right now, you have to eat that. It is delicious going in. It is delicious. Wow. Mmm. Oh, man. Wow. Mm. Skin is just really crispy. Extreme cold warning. And uh, it's cold, I'll tell you. Today's New Year's Day, by the way, and I know this video is coming out a week or two after New Year's Day, but I'm, uh, I'm ahead of schedule with my videos, which is great. Anyway, um, yeah, so issued at 4.32. Actually, this extreme cold warning has been pretty much on the go for the last week off and on. So right now, uh, it's saying extreme cold and wind chill values between minus 50 and minus 55. And the, um, so wind, I can't stand a cold wind. I wouldn't mind minus 50 with no wind. I'd rather that 
then minus 20 with a minus 35 wind. I, I just There's something about it, like the wind finds you. And whereas when it's just like a dead cold with no wind, if you're active, you're, you're, you're good if you're prepared. But man, when it's windy, there's nothing worse. Okay, so they're saying up to down to minus 55 Celsius. Okay, uh, it's extremely cold. Wind chill values are going to continue through the weekend. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So cover up. Frostbite can develop within minutes on exposed skin, especially with the wind chill. And that makes sense. Uh, extreme cold warnings are issued when it's very cold and the wind chill creates an elevated risk to health, such as frostbite and hypothermia. I am so lucky that I am in this tent. I am telling you guys right now, I am so lucky because minus 37 on the outside of this tent, and it's only going up to it's only going up to minus 37 overnight. Uh, so, it, and in here it's just cozy. It's it really is just the best. I was just going back over some of that tape just to make sure that you guys could see the um, the screen of my phone and look. I knew it when I was coming in. I mean, it was it, minus 55 wind chill, and it was minus 39 when I got on the snowmobile without the wind. That's extremely cold. Uh, I don't know if I've ever come out here when it was minus 39, like just to come out directly. And it, like sometimes it has hit minus 39 while I've been out here, but coming out minus 39, so you can see I got a little patch, and I, I, I could feel it. And it was just like a little sting. Now, right now, I can't feel that. It's not doing anything. I can't, there's no sting there, but who knows. So I have my goggles on and there's a little area right there that, uh, and I'm looking in the screen, by the way. That's why I'm not looking directly at you guys, but a little area that was exposed between my uh, neck warmer and my goggles, a little, little bit there. And I was only on my snowmobile for 15 minutes tops and that's what happened i mean it's it's a little i don't know what's going to happen there um it'll always be a, a part of my skin now that will probably be vulnerable to frostbite frostbite is something that you need to take seriously so i gotta make sure that i'm covered up properly when when getting on my snowmobile from now on I need a lot of dry wood for tonight, 100% with that temperature out there. This isn't the most fuel efficient stove in the world, that's for sure. It is not energy efficient, but uh, I love it. I love you. I gotta crank this thing here for a bit before I go to bed and uh, get a really good bed of coals. And once I've established a really good bed of coals, I'll load that stove for the night, close it down a bit, and then I'll probably be up every four hours, maybe five, depending. And uh, that's, that's camping. The temperature in this tent drops so fast. Once the heat starts to leave this stove, you can feel it. You're, you're, it's like an inner alarm goes off and says, "Hey, man, uh, you gotta, you gotta fill that stove." Anyway, that's it for now. I'm gonna let this do its job. I'll see you guys in the morning.
Look at that. Oh man. You guys see this? I gotta focus on this. Look at that. I'm gonna wipe down that stove real good before I leave. Cause I am sure it smells delicious in here right now. Okay, first bite. Oh man. Mmm. Can't have breakfast without coffee. Oh. That is perfect. Yes. Sleep was amazing last night. It was the best winter sleep I've had since I've been at this camp. Easily. I got up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I went to bed around midnight. I got up at 4, reloaded the stove. Went back into bed, I was out in seconds, and I slept until 8. I got 8 hours of sleep with one minor interruption in the middle. I was so cozy. I just had this place at a perfect temperature, and it just felt so good to sleep here. I've got my snowmobile plugged in to my Jackery, and... Um, that thing is like essentially allowing for me to come out in the extreme cold conditions that I want to come out in because without being able to plug in my snowmobile, I cannot, I, I cannot come at these temperatures. So it's, uh, it's been a great winter because last year there were times when I would just have to pass up coming out because I just knew I, I might be stranded. Yeah, what a great night. It was just a camping trip. That's all this was. This was Jay just going camping cutting wood, cooking delicious meals, enjoying it the way it's supposed to be. If you like this video uh, and you want to hit the like button, that would be great. It means a lot to a YouTuber when a like button is hit. I know you guys probably hear it all the time. But there's a reason why YouTubers say it. And if you want to subscribe, feel free. <laughs> I like that too. <laughs> Subscriptions are always great. So anyway, it's been, a, it's been a fun video. I had a really good time. I hope you guys had a good time. And yeah, I'll be back really soon.